Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, and welcome to our third video in our installment of the Laser Imprints Go Uno series. In this video, we're going to show you how to run Condi brand non-oil transfer papers through the Laser Imprints Go Uno. We're going to cover four papers, our Laser Flex CL, our Laser Imprints Opaque, our Laser Imprints Trim Free, and then our Laser Imprints Hard Surface. For each paper, I'll show you how to load the paper inside of the tray of the Go Uno printer. We'll jump to the computer so I can show you the proper media weight selection, and then we'll send the print through so that you can see the finished result. So let's go ahead and identify those Condi brand transfer papers. The first paper we'll demonstrate is a paper that we call our Condi Laser Flex CL. This is a single sheet emulsion transfer paper designed to go onto white or light colored garments. What makes this paper unique is that it is capable of running through high speed printers or copiers. You can identify the backing sheet because it will have the words laser transfer paper written on the backing sheet. This is the backing sheet side. This is the print side. What we want to do is load the paper print side up into the multi-purpose tray of our laser imprints Go Uno. Press the button on the side to lift the multi-purpose tray into position and now we'll jump to the computer so I can show you the proper media weight setting to run LaserFlex CL. I'm in my print preview screen in CorelDRAW X5 and I'm working with a graphic provided by Great Dane Graphics. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and send this graphic to the Laser Imprints Go Uno to print onto our first Condi brand paper which is the LaserFlex CL. I want to go into my print options Make sure my Go Uno printer is selected, then click on Preferences to access the driver. You'll notice here that the paper source may be defaulted to Automatically Select. We want to change this setting to make sure it says Multipurpose Tray. Remember, we want to run all transfer paper through the multipurpose tray. Next, we'll go into this Advanced setting by clicking this button here. In the advanced setting, we want to change our paper size. Since I'm printing to a tabloid sheet, I'll change the default from letter to tabloid. Next thing I like to do is go to this media check. The default means on, which basically says that you have to press the online button when the printer prompts you in order to get the print to feed through the multipurpose tray. But if we turn the media check off, we can avoid that extra step. Next, the most important thing is the media type. You will notice here the default is printer setting. But for Condi LaserFlex CL, we want to set our media weight to heavy. We'll click OK to apply the changes. And now we will print this image to Condi LaserFlex CL. The second Condi brand paper that we'll show you how to run through the Laser Imprints Go Uno is this paper that we call Laser Imprints Opaque. It is a single sheet opaquing material so that you can get an image onto a dark cotton or cotton polyester blend garment. As you'll notice here, the backing sheet will say Laser Dark Transfer Paper written in blue. This is the backing sheet side. The blank side is our print side. So we will load this sheet print side up into our multipurpose tray, press in the button on the side to pop the multipurpose tray into position. Now let's go to the computer so I can show you the proper media weight setting to run laser imprints opaque. Now that we're back at our print preview screen in Corel Draw, let's work with our second Condi brand transfer paper, which is the Condi laser imprints opaque material. Again, I'll go to my print options, to make sure that my Go Uno printer is selected, and I'll click on Preferences to access the driver. I always want to run transfer paper from my multi-purpose tray. I'll click on the Advanced button, make sure my paper size is selected to tabloid, and now I want to change my media type. So I'll click here to access the pull-down menu, and for the Laser Imprints Opaque material, we want to select User Type 2. 
We'll click OK, apply our changes, and now let's print to the laser imprints opaque paper. The third Condi brand paper that we'll demonstrate through the Laser Imprints Go Uno is this paper called Laser Imprints Trim Free. This is a single sheet self weeding transfer paper designed to image white or light colored garments without leaving the excess emulsion residue. You can identify the backing sheet of this because it will say Trim Free Laser Light Transfer Paper on the backing sheet. This is your backing sheet side. The blank side is your print side. So remember, when you're loading paper into your multi-purpose tray, make sure that the print side is facing up. We'll lock the tray into position, and now let's jump to the computer so I can show you the proper media weight to run Laser Imprints trim-free paper through our Laser Imprints Go Uno color laser printer. Okay, we're back in our print preview screen of Corel Draw X5. Let's print to our third Condi brand t-shirt transfer paper, the Laser Imprints Trim Free. I'll click on Print Options, make sure the Go Uno is selected, then click on Preferences to access the driver. Always make sure that you run your transfer paper from the multi-purpose tray. We'll click on Advanced, make sure our paper size is set to tabloid. Now we need to change our media type. I'll click on media type to access the pull down menu. When it comes to laser imprints trim free, you want to select your media type as user type 1. Click on it to select it. Click OK. Apply your changes. And now let's send this print to our laser imprints Go Uno so we can print to our laser imprints trim free paper. The fourth and final Condi brand paper that we'll show you how to run through the Laser Imprints Go Uno is our new paper for hard surfaces called Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1. This paper is designed to image both coated and uncoated hard substrates such as ceramics, metals, and plastics. Like the other Nina product, the mugs and more, there is no marking to distinguish the backing sheet. So what you will have is a paper side and a glossy side that has the emulsion. The glossy side is the print side. So when we're loading this paper in, we want to make sure that we load glossy side up into our multi-purpose tray. We'll lock the tray into position and we'll jump to the computer so I can show you the proper media weight to run the Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1. We're back in our print preview screen in Corel Draw X5, and now let's work with our fourth and final Condi brand transfer paper, the new Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1. Again, I'll go to my print options, make sure my Go Uno printer is selected as my destination printer, then click on Preferences to access the driver. I want to make sure that my paper source says Multipurpose Tray, then click on the Advance button. Make sure I have my paper size selected, which in this case is tabloid, and now I want to change my media type. From our testing here at Condi Systems, we found that the best setting to print to the Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1 is to select Image Clip as your media type. We'll select Image Clip, click OK, apply the changes, and now let's print to the Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1. So this concludes how to run our Condi brand non-oil transfer papers through the Laser Imprints Go Uno printer. Unlike the Nina papers where the media weight settings are already programmed into the driver of the Go Uno, when it comes to our Condi brand paper, you are going to have to select specific media weights in order to get the toner to properly bond to the page. However, if you follow the suggestions that we give you in this video, you should be able to print just fine to our Condi brand papers with your Laser Imprints Go Uno printer. 
Just so you know, we're planning on publishing a recommended media weight chart for all of our transfer papers. Just look for it as a PDF file on our Laser Imprints Go Uno page on our Condi website. However, if you have any questions or if you need any additional information, don't hesitate to contact us directly at 1-800-826-6332. And don't forget to visit our website at www.condi.com. And don't forget to tune in to the fourth part of our video series on the Laser Imprints Go Uno, which will be basic maintenance and troubleshooting with the machine. My name is Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up, and I thank you for yours.